Hey friends, in this lecture what I'll try to do is basically get everybody acquainted with the concept of plastic hinge. Now, for example, I have a beam like this which is simply supported and let it be loaded by this force P. Essentially the bending moment diagram of this beam will be this is my shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram will be this wherein this point is equal to PL by 4 and it's kind of a sagging moment. So at this point C the value of maximum bending moment will fall and the stresses of the extreme fibers of this cross section will have the maximum stresses. With further increase of P a stage will come wherein the stresses at the extreme fibers of this cross section C for example if this is my cross section then the stresses in the extreme fibers will reach the yield point that is this sigma yp right sigma yp will be reached at some point with further increase of p now essentially when this will be enough so that the bending moment at C that is M will be equal to MP we have some kind of a plastic hinge developing at P what that basically means is that with low loads the beam will deform like this but when M is equal to MP then there will be a sort of a plastic hinge at this point wherein with further increase in load there will be excessive strain induced and the point wherein this plastic hinge will develop is called the limit point and the load at this limit point is called the limit load so PL is the limit load and this PL into L by 4 will essentially give me the plastic moment MP so PL is essentially equal to 4 MP by L and MP we can find out it out from the previous lectures right so essentially this PL is my limit load and at this limit load there will be a plastic hinge developed at this point C so essentially this is the concept of plastic hinge and that is the end for plastic bending of pins in the next few lectures what I will try to basically do is enumerate and take the beam concept forward by studying beam with two materials then we will go to reinforced concrete beams and then we will see the thin world profile sections and all these things so see you in the next lecture